Good morning, guys. My eyes are cropped out because I'm eyelashes on. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. Okay, I guess you're gonna see it anyway. Anyway, today's vlog is a little bit weird. It's a little bit odd. Um, I recorded like a 20 minute clip crying like last night. So yeah, I'm also wearing the same sweatshirt. Honestly, just judge me. So today's vlog is a little bit sporadic. I realized I forgot to intro it. Um, but I basically go to Whole Foods, cry a little bit. It's a thing. Um, but also I wanted to share with you guys something that I did uh, at 4 a.m. the other night. I wasn't even drunk or anything. I just, it's, okay, so I watched a BuzzFeed video about bidets, which is basically something that sh squirts water in your ass. And... <laughs> To like clean it, I guess, or like, you know, like after you go to the bathroom. I just feel like it's a clean vibe, and um, I ordered one. <laughs> and I don't know how the hell I think I'm gonna set it up, but like, isn't that fun? It's a little attachment, just squirts water in your ass. Anyway, that's the intro for today, I guess, so enjoy the vlog. If you guys watched my last vlog, then you would know why I have freckles on my face. However, you might be like, Michelle, they actually look insane. <laughs> I look like I freaking chicken box. That is because last night I was like, you know, I'm gonna have just like a few more frecks, like just a cute vibe. Uh, yeah, I fell asleep with <laughs> the henna on, and then I woke up at 2 p.m. today, so... It's been on from 10 to 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. the next day. So that's like too many hours to leave henna on. But like, once again at the same time, my depth perception of freckles has just gone out the window and I still kind of like it. <laughs> like, it just kind of looks like a sun-kissed vibe. I hate myself. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, I'm freckle face and I'm ready to go to Whole Foods. So I'm making these black bean burgers today. And I need some vegan cheese. I don't typically enjoy vegan cheese that much. It's actually kind of gross most of the time. So I'm going to go to Whole Foods and just like see. I feel like it's not that bad when you put it on something or whatever. I'm just like looking in the mirror and my freckles look insane. Like no one's going to think I have freckles. They're going to think I have chicken pox and probably run away. So guys, look how pretty the flowers look. You know, I think I'm going to get my mom some roses. I'm a good daughter that buys her mother's love. I'll show you what I got at Whole Foods. I decided to not really vlog in there because it was like weirdly busy, like as fuck. Like it scared the shit out of me. I got my mom these roses because I just thought they looked too pretty, right? Like I just like felt like I needed to get them. They were calling me. Then I got um, the chow cheese. This is by Field Roast. This is like the number one vegan cheese everyone's obsessed with. Um, it's tomato cayenne flavored for my veggie burgers or bean burritos. Bean burritos, what? No, I'm a little stressed now because it's raining, so I'm gonna go hopefully drive safe. That'd be really ironic if I died. Also, I just felt that everyone was staring at my freckles because how could you not? It literally looks like I inject myself in my nose. So that's fun. All right, bye. Guys, I have my first ever... <laughs> I have my first ever client for freckles. My friend Rachel wanted to come over to let me do freckles. She saw my vlog and she was like, wait, I want some. They're cute. So I'm telling you guys, I'm moving to Los Angeles and I'm charging everybody $50. She literally just told us like 10 minutes ago she's moving to New York. Okay, listen, I'm not sure. Listen, I want to move to LA basically, but I'm kind of scared of San Andreas Fall, even though that's like not... <laughs> It's scary. It's not real. What do you mean it's not the real? It's real, but like earthquakes are normal there. Like, but if a really bad one happens, bitch. Bitch, it's not gonna be like a movie scene. Well, no, it's, it's not gonna be like a tsunami. I looked it up. It's impossible. It's fine for there to be a tsunami in California. So, I hate you. I hate you so much. we're gonna do some frecks. It, it covers with makeup, so it's really like not even a commitment. It's fine. You guys, look how cute, Rachel. Wow, I literally can't wait to open my shop. I think we convinced my sister's fiance to do them now. I anyway, hate saying fiance instead of boyfriend. Guys, look how cute Jimmy looks with his little frecks. Love it. So it's my sister's fiance. There's my sis. You shoes blurry. There's my dog. In case you're wondering. Oh, I kind of like him. 
So, um, I wasn't going to plan on showing what the freckles look like, but I thought I'd let you guys know. I don't know if you care. Um, but also because I wanted to preface that the next part of, like, the rest of this vlog is, like, really, really fucking emo. And I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it's just, you know, sometimes people have bad days. This was just one of them. So, let's go. Get ready for some tears and shit. So, that's always fun. So, it's, like, fucking four o'clock in the morning almost. <laughs> And tonight, ew, I hate crying. <laughs> and also, I don't have eyelashes on, and this is so bad. I normally do not let people see me without eyelashes. I feel so uncomfortable right now. But it's like, I don't know. I don't I don't normally put emotional stuff that much. Like, I don't think I've ever cried on YouTube before unless it was, like, crying, like, laughing. I don't know. When did I cry a lot on YouTube? Never. But I feel like because I'm going to be... Uh, not a daily vlogger, but a vlogger now that I should post emotional shit sometimes. And I just hate myself so much right now. I booked a flight, like, I don't know, last night, like at 7 p.m. It's like, it's 3.38 right now. And I booked a flight at 7 p.m. from here like tampa to london and i want to go so bad like i don't think anyone understands because i'm so weird like i'm so weird for being scared of a fucking plane when i go in a car like every day when it's so stupid it's so stupid to be afraid of it but like i just i don't think i can do it like i'm so on the verge of canceling this trip that i don't it sucks having so much anxiety over something that people do like I don't I can't even imagine what it would be like to be somebody who flies without being nervous at all and it just basically the like why it's like so important to me is my friends are uh in New York, I mean, in what? In London right now. They're studying abroad there. I wanted to go visit them, and it was, like, kind of last minute. Obviously, because I'm supposed to go, like, a week from today. And I just, I don't think I can do it. I just don't think I can handle it. Like, the thought of flying over the ocean literally terrifies me, and I hate that. Like, I've wanted to go to London so bad for so long, because, like... Obviously, you guys know that I love Amy Winehouse, like, so much. This sounds so stupid, but, like, literally, I have her handwriting tattooed on me. Like, I have one of her tattoos on me, and I want to go so bad to, like, her, like, her grave, and, like, which is so sad, because obviously it's sad that she died, but I want to go to, like, her house in Camden and all the places that she used to, like, going, and, like, I want to see, like, all that stuff. Also, I just want to go to, like, London. I want to see my friends, and it's, it sucks because I feel like if I really do cancel the trip, like, they're not, and I feel like I'm, I'm literally going to. I just, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Like, it's so, it's so scary. Oh my God, my glasses also look how dirty they are. It's so bad. I, I couldn't even do a direct flight from Tampa to London because I'm just, I'm s too scared to be on a plane for 10 hours straight. Like, there's, like, on the way back to the train. I don't know. I'm not a fucking doctor. Doctor. <laughs> what? Geolog geographer? I don't, whatever. I don't know why the trade winds make the time slower, but they fucking do. So, like, anytime I come home, or anytime I go to Los Angeles, it's longer. And then when I come home, it's shorter. Same thing with, like, London, apparently. Anytime I, if I go to London, it's, like, 8 th hours and 30 minutes there, and then 10 hours back. And I'm, like, not okay with that. <laughs> so, my friends will just, I just feel like they'll just think I'm stupid. Like, you know. And I know they don't, and I just, but, like, they don't get it. Like, I just feel like nobody gets it. And it sucks, because everyone just thinks I'm extra or, like, crazy. And I get it, because I'm, like, I am for sure. <laughs> like, there's no doubt about it. And, like, I feel like people don't understand that when I want to do things, there's just certain instances that I literally just can't. And it sucks. There's been so many things that, like, my 
anxiety has stopped me from doing it. It's so fucking annoying. It's so stupid because I know people have like real shit to worry about and I get it, but like it's just it sucks like usually i think about it when you want to do something really bad but you can't do it it's usually because there's like a force that's like making you not be able to do it i guess not a force like a fucking like jesus or something i don't know but like a force like a some something comes up or you don't say you want to go somewhere and you just like don't have enough money or something like that it's usually like a third party factor as to why you can't do it now imagine like you wanting to do stuff and this happens all the fucking time imagine wanting to do stuff but the only thing stopping you from doing it is yourself and you can't bring your own self to like figure your shit out it's so annoying i feel like being honest about this i don't know it's because maybe maybe some other people like i don't know obviously obviously i mean i have 200k which thanks for that for <laughs> I just realized forgot to say that in yesterday's video but thanks for 200k that's literally insane <laughs> but uh obviously 200,000 subscribers maybe somebody will empathize with me on this specific thing because it's so I like in my head I know it's stupid and I know that I should go and I want to be with my friends like we we're gonna talk about like going to like gay bars I mean they're not gay but like hey shit like they trying to get me some pussy too you know how it <laughs> Ew, I can't believe I just said that not literally I love how this is the frame like literally anytime I FaceTime Al or Chip this is what they see but with lashes because I don't like when people see me without so this is a lot because this means a lot of people are seeing me without because I can't cry with lashes on because they get all shitty I don't know you know the vibe if you wear lashes you may know the vibe I just don't foresee myself going to London right now like in this state of mind I think I need to like work through some shit before I can do that and uh it's weird because like yes I get nervous before going on a flight to like New York City or something but to me it like now I maybe since I've done it so many times it's like nothing anymore I guess a flight to LA is more like what I'm talking about like how I feel about this I mean I would do it and I will do it like I'm going for VidCon and Pride and stuff and I'm like so excited about it but for some reason this just like feels wrong and I feel like that's what scares me the most so I don't know I guess I'm probably not gonna end up going to London if you guys have any tips for the future um let me know because I know I will make it to London one day even if it's not <laughs> next week ew my nose <laughs> like I want to live my life but like it's Someday, I don't know, should I go to a therapist? I don't have a therapist. I feel like I need a therapist. <laughs> I just feel like it's not something that I can physically handle right now. Or I guess mentally, not physically. I'm good. <laughs> I'm me mentally handle right now. I think, um, I think I need to work through shit of, like, my own, I guess. And I don't know. Because, like, obviously, I who doesn't want to go to Europe? Who like everyone wants to go to Europe like everyone wants to travel and like have fun and stuff but and especially with their friends like go for a cheeky nandos get some mulled wine there's so many vegan options in London like I was so I'm so excited like I was so excited to go sometimes things just get in the way and sometimes it's yourself so that's today's vlog <laughs> Actually, you know what? This little footage, this entire footage helped me because I guess I'll have a purpose for today's vlog. I was going to go to the mall to buy a winter jacket for London, but now I guess I don't need one. So, I don't even want to tell my friends that I'm going to cancel it because I just know they're going to be like, you can't live your life like that. And I, and I understand. Like, that's the thing is that I completely understand that I can't, but it's like just a thing I don't know I like don't personally know anybody else like this I don't know maybe your anxiety stops you from doing something different than like going on planes if you're fine with that but what does your anxiety stop you from doing that's it for today's vlog sorry this was a more downer of one but I'm hoping maybe this can help someone at least like I mean obviously it's not gonna help you break through your anxiety because I didn't break through anything but maybe it'll help you 
not feel alone and not feel shitty that you can't do certain things or that you sometimes have to let people down. Like honestly, a lot of the hardest things I do, like it sounds so stupid. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I don't know. I always feel weird ending emotional videos with my outro, but then I also feel weird not doing my outro. So like, I'm just gonna do my outro. Um, let me know in the comments. Like, I want to know if you ever feel like this or if life ever just kind of sucks for you. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram because I'm always posting really dope-ass shit on there. But not stuff in London. Just stuff here. <laughs> in Florida. I am going to Playlist Live soon, though. I mean, it's in like three months, but I'm excited for that. Subscribe for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Conspiracy theory videos, scape creepy videos, whatever. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll occasionally post vlogs like this one. Hopefully the next vlog will be a little bit more upbeat. That's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. For you I was a flame. Love is a losing game Five-story fire as you came